Today we will be unboxing the iRobot Roomba vacuum. It's the Roomba 614. We will be unboxing it and showing you how to set it up and use it and see how it works. So when you first open the box, you'll see it's got the vacuum, the dock, the cords, looks like a filter, and you've got the brush cleaning tool. And here's the instructions. First thing you'll do is turn your robot over and remove the battery pull tab. You'll want to plug in the cord to the DAW home base. You'll want to plug in the cord. You'll then take your robot and set it on the dock so that it will charge. So we have it on the docking charging station and you can see this light is like a red color which means it is charging and it will be solid green when it's fully charged. It says to charge it for three hours um, before you use it for the first time. You'll see that the lights have turned off and they will turn off after 60 seconds to conserve energy. You can check the status of the battery by clicking the clean button you can check on the battery status. Okay, so to turn the Roomba on, you'll press the clean button once. And then to start cleaning, you will press clean again. We've left some debris out to see how well it does. purposely have not swept for a little bit so that we could show you how effective it is. And I noticed that when it Going along the rug, it has a hard time picking up things from the hardwood. See how it looks and comes by. So to use the spot clean function, you'll press the button that says spot. You'll put it over the debris and it will clean that little section by spiraling in and out. You can see it can go on top of our rug easily. You can see it has trouble getting up onto our rug. Another thing to note is this right here is the handle so you can carry it if you need to move it from one room to the other. We are going to set it on this thicker shag rug and see how it does. One thing that is kind of a bummer is that it does not really work super well on our shag carpet. Error. Six. Move Roomba to new It's just really slow and doesn't move very well.
See how much faster it moves on the tile. So one thing I do like about the Roomba is it will go over my bathroom rug and, and vacuum that up. Also goes from my tile to carpet easily. It is a bit slower on the carpet. You'll just want to make sure you have all clothing and loose items off the ground because it did suck up a few of our masks and ruined those and we stretched them out and then it did pick up some of my kids clothing and wind it in the spin brush so just a warning of that. To turn it off you hold the clean button down. When you're done you can dock your Roomba Hit dock and it should head right back to the charging station. And now it's charging. Thanks for watching Big Al Repairs. Let us know if you have any other requests. We'll continue to make some Roomba videos. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.